Everybody's on a journey from the time we're born till the time we leave. But when we go on a spiritual journey, it seems to be more conscious. And we begin to make conscious choices about life instead of just going on and getting up in the morning and doing our stuff and then going to bed. We begin to make conscious choices of our, our thoughts and our actions and even the foods we eat and things like that. And it's uh, putting your foot on the pathway one step at a time. And some of us do very devious journeys and we take lots of little side tracks and we don't get very far really. And some of us just are very conscientious about it and go one step after another and go closer to our pathway, which is really, um, to me, I think enlightenment is letting go of all the things we believe that are not benefiting us, us in life or the barriers to our life, to the good things in life, and to release them one by one and just think, I don't have to believe that anymore, or do I want to believe that anymore? And making a conscious choice. When we can understand that every single thing we believe has been a choice, and it may or may not be true. It can be true for you and not for you because it's your belief system and your belief system and then I have my belief system. I say a lot, uh, that may be true for you, it's not true for me. I may not say that out loud, but people are doing things or saying things and I think that to myself a lot. And also it has nothing to do with me. Whatever's going, that has nothing to do with me because I'm under the law of my own consciousness. This is my pathway and you have your pathway, you have yours, everybody does. So we're, we're all on a journey and I think the more conscientious we are about it and the more conscious choices we make, the better our journey is or the easier or the swifter or the, we get more goodies or we have better health, all that stuff. But when I was beginning to work with people in the early days, I paid very close attention to what people said. And it became a habit with me, and I still do. I listen to what people say more than, you know, the words they're using and everything. And I, so often I think, oh, if you just wouldn't use those words, if you just take those three words out of your vocabulary, because people use uh, negative words a lot, the same ones over and over again. Uh, Yes, I, I hear words, what much words, more than other people. What words would you take out of the vocabulary? Well, should to begin with. That, that's a, a big one. <laughs> because it, every time you say should, you're making yourself wrong. Either you were wrong or you are wrong or you're going to be wrong. So take that one out completely. And just a lot of negative expressions that people use. I'm not good enough or this will never work or oh, it's a rotten day or, you know, there's just tons of expressions and we use them over and over again and they don't do us any good at all. Everybody's journey is individual because we start from different places. So we can't all be having the same journey. But I think we get, we all get certain ahas and that's when we've sort of learned something. We say, oh, okay. And then if we can keep that, what we've learned and practice it, then we've made another step and we can move forward. Um, yes, it's a lifetime journey and we never stop learning. I'm 80 and I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> Though the lessons are easier now than they used to be. I like to think of it when we start, we have all these boulders in front of us on our pathway and we start to get the boulders out of the way and you finally get to the point where it's gravel and gravel you can handle, you know, and you can sweep gravel and you can do things. So, and then occasionally there's an old boulder. Rolls back to You think, oh, I thought I, I thought I had that one, but not completely. And, and, you know, also I think that when we learn lessons, we think, oh, I've learned that one, it'll never happen again, I've done that, that's it. Well, how do you know you've done it unless it comes by once more and see how you react? Have you really learned it? Is it really nothing for you? Have you gone beyond that? Or are you going to go right back into the same old reaction?
See, we're never wrong. That's what we, we need to learn that. We're, we're always doing the best we can with the understanding and awareness and knowledge we have at that moment. I have a very firm belief that only good lies before me. And with that belief, it doesn't matter what comes because it'll be only good. And I want it to be new and different and exciting and, and uh, stuff. No, I, I'm, I'm in my 80s now and new things are happening. So let it, just let it, ha let it roll.